have to do from main page, just grab our distance diameter and width gauges. Right now, because I only have one measurement input on here, it's gonna tell me that it's a static mode, but once I enter different plane on here, it goes to automatic dynamic. All I have to do from there, close the hood. So the machine automatically stops at 12 o'clock whenever it needs weights to be put on here. So if I wanna advance, since I wanna put weights on here first or whichever is better, I can just hit the green button. The machine automatically puts the wheel in the correct position. Right at 12 o'clock. And we're just gonna close the hook. When the cycle ends, you have zeros across the board. Go ahead and remove your assembly and you're ready to balance the next side. If you're gonna be doing four wheels that are the same size and, and width as this one is, you don't have to keep remeasuring it. You bring on your assemblies and you can get them. We're gonna be working on an aluminum wheel and we're gonna show you how to use precision tooling to chuck it onto the shaft, this balancer. The balance that automatically determines the mode of balancing is going to have in this particular wheel. So since we're going to be installing our wheel weights right here on the inside part of the wheel, the wheel we're going to measure here and farther inside the wheel. We grab our distance gauge and diameter. Once we have our measurement done, we're just going to simply close the hood. You're gonna notice here, it's fine. You're gonna notice here on the screen, we have different options. One of the things that this balancer did when it was spinning the, the tire or the assembly is that it recognizes if there's a lot of weight that needs to be put onto the assembly to correct the unbalance. And then it'll give you different options here on the screen. Like for example, if right here what is showing I want to hide the weight right behind a spoke, so doesn't be does is not showing on your on your wheel. I just arrow forward, press this button here, and I'm just going to tell the machine how many spokes. We arrow forward, and now I'm just going to go and right when I get the next spoke, I'll tell the machine where it is, and from there it automatically shows us that it's going to be putting weights right behind the spokes. The RAV G3150 comes equipped with a laser light that is going to help you install your wheel weights in the right position. So you just place your weight on there. If there's more weight that you need to be put on in the next spoke, will be there. The sensor is telling us that everything is fine on. If we need to put more weight on the next spoke, we can just go ahead and do it, but it's telling us the that spoke right there is going to be fine. So from there, all we have to do is close the hood. assembly is done.